Hello. As promised in this video, I'm going to take a look at the transposable fingerings for the two forms of the minor pentatonic corresponding to the one and four chords in the minor key 1-4-5 chord progression. I'll begin with the pentatonic scale corresponding to the one chord, and that's the pattern of root, minor third, perfect fourth, minor sixth, minor seventh, and octave. And if I go to the finger two starting position on string six, the first thing I notice is that the root, third, fourth, sixth, and seventh in the lower octave are played with this rather awkward pattern of finger two, one, two, one, two. So in this instance, I prefer to substitute finger three as the starting finger for this position. This gives me the root, third, fourth, and sixth under fingers three, one, three, one, and then I revert to the stretched fingering to play the minor seventh with finger two and the octave with finger four, which puts me in position to move into the upper octave with finger two on the minor third, finger four, on the fourth, finger three, on the minor sixth, stretch with finger one to the minor seventh, and finger three or two for the final octave. Moving up to string five, again I begin with finger three and now I play all the way up to the minor seventh in an unstretched position. And at this point I can move to finger two at the octave, putting me in position to play the minor third with finger one on string two, the fourth with finger three, the minor sixth with finger one on string one, minor seventh with finger two, and the octave with finger four. Beginning on string four, once more I start with finger three, and again I can play up to the minor seventh in an unstretched fingering, although now as the minor sixth and minor seventh land on string two, they're played with fingers two and four instead of fingers one and three. So I play three, one, three, two, four, and then to the octave with finger one. From here I can play the minor third with finger four, fourth with finger one, minor sixth with finger four, and then change position to play the minor seventh and octave with fingers two and four. You might like to try this pattern with a stretched fingering in the upper octave. Personally, I find that a little bit too awkward to be worth the effort. Moving on to start with finger one on string six, I now have another simple two fingers per string pattern. That's one, finger four for the minor third, and then one and four again for the fourth and minor sixth. Fingers one and three for the minor seventh and octave. Then fingers one and three again for the minor third and fourth and the second octave. Fingers two and four for the minor sixth and minor seventh. And finger one for the high octave. again play the lower octave with fingers one, four, one, four, one, three. And here I can move to finger one for the minor third to complete the upper octave with the same fingering as when I started with finger two on string five. string four, I can complete the lower octave in one position, note 
noticing that the minor seventh and octave now fall on string two and therefore under fingers two and four instead of one and three. And from here I can move to finger one for the minor third and once more complete the upper octave using the same fingering as I used from the string five starting position. Finger four on string six. I have the minor third under finger two, fourth under finger four, and now the minor sixth under finger two, the minor seventh under finger four, and the octave finger one. Moving this pattern up to string five places the octave under finger two giving me a fingering of 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. This has effectively become just a finger exercise, quite a good one to get this little finger working, but if you were playing this pattern in a real piece of music, you would almost certainly play it using fingers 3 and 1. Beginning with finger 4 on string 4, it's now the minor 6th that lands up on string 2, so I can play that with finger three, and then reach down with finger one to the minor seventh, and three for the octave. Or I can move to finger two for the minor sixth, play the minor seventh with finger four, and the octave with finger one. Now onto the pentatonic scale that corresponds with the four chord. And remember this is a minor pentatonic with a major sixth in it. In order to add the major sixth we dropped the minor seventh and added a fifth. We can play this in the second finger position on string six beginning with the usual stretch to the minor third, second finger for the fourth, fourth finger for the reintroduced fifth and now the major sixth lands under finger one without a stretch, no seventh, and the octave under finger four. In the upper octave, minor third under finger two, fourth under finger four, fifth under finger two, major sixth, finger four, and the octave, finger two. finger two on string five, I play the lower octave in position, before shifting to finger one for the minor third, and now I have fourth under finger two, fifth under finger four, major sixth under finger one, and octave under finger four. with finger two on string four, I now reach the major sixth with finger two and then go to the octave with finger one. As with the previous pentatonic scale from this position I find the stretched fingering just a, a little bit too inconvenient for me so I always play this pattern with a shift in position that is minor third with finger four, fourth finger one, fifth finger three and then finger one for the major sixth and finger four for the octave. When I start with finger one on string six I now have to stretch with finger four to the major sixth. two for the octave, stretch with finger one for the next minor third, fourth, fifth, and 
major sixth, now under finger two, and the octave under finger one. Beginning with finger one on string five, like the previous scale, I end with finger two at the octave, enabling me one more time to complete the upper octave with the same fingering that I used when beginning on finger two. Beginning with finger one on string four, I reach the octave with finger three on string two before yet again going to finger one for the minor third and completing the pattern with the same fingering as the string five starting position. Beginning with finger four on string six, we have the usual root, minor third, fourth, and now the return of the fifth under finger one. The major sixth now lands under finger three and the octave finger one. Finger four, string five. same pattern with the octave under finger two and in this case it's the finger four string four starting position that's reduced to a mere finger exercise of four two four two four two all that remains then is to bring in the dominant seventh form of the pentatonic that's to say the major pentatonic with a minor seventh in it to complete the set of scales for the 1-4-5 chord progression. For example, here in the key of A minor. Since the 1 and 4 chords in minor keys correspond to the 6 and two chords in the relative major key, this means we've also learnt the appropriate pentatonic scale patterns to complete the 251 and 6251 chord progressions in the major keys. So in the next video session I'll be giving a fairly brief review of these two progressions, plus taking the opportunity to study some more open position fingerings in a couple of new keys. And I'll bid you goodbye until then. <laughs>